Hey, this is Glenn Danafeller Chevrolet, just inviting all you guys to come down here and check out the new Silverados. Um, they've got a bunch of features that you bass fishermen would love. Um, you've got three different, four different engine configurations, three cab configurations, depending on your needs. You've got great features like a backup camera so you don't have to drag your wife out at four in the morning to bring her out to hook up your trailer. Uh, back right up to it. Um, you know, you've got a uh, 10,000 pound towing capacity, so any of those bass boats are going to work perfect for you. Um, so just come on down to Feller Chevrolet. We'll give you a great deal right out of the gate, and you won't find a better deal anywhere. Choice, new sport and good store just opened in Lynchburg, Virginia. And we've got some guests with us here today. We've got Elite Series Pro, PAA member. Uh, Nitro Pro Staff Guy, Jamie Franklin. Jamie, what brings you to Lynchburg today? I just came up here to see the new grand opening of this nice tackle store. And um, is this the first time you've been in Lynchburg? I've fished Smith Mountain Lake a couple times, but this is the first time I've ever actually been to Lynchburg. And, um, you know, it's it's right here, first part of February. What has uh, this year, what has 2011 brought for you so far in the, in the fishing business? Uh, I was in Florida last week just looking around at the lakes. Uh, that's really been about it. It's been a cold winter, so I haven't done it. Um, and, you know, for the 2011 season, you know, there's a lot of things going on with bass. We've, we've talked to a lot of the Elite Series guys about the new ownership and stuff. Um, most guys seem pretty excited about that. What, do you, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's going to go back to my feeling as a smaller organization and instead of corporate ESPN. It's a three-person ownership, and, and I think good things are going to come from it. Um, you know, you looked at the schedule. I'm sure you, you're doing your research for that. What do you um, What do you feel? You know, as far as you know, the the lake setting up for your strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that for this season. Yeah, we're going to a lot of new lakes this year, and I, I really don't know. You know, I think most of them are going to fish shallow, and that's what I grew up doing. So, we'll see. I just take it tournament by tournament. You know, um, Skeet is big for saying that he doesn't make a plan before he gets there. He gets there and fishes the conditions and you know that's obviously done well for him. Is that kind of your theory? Yeah and that's when I spent six days in Florida I didn't hardly make a cast. I just rode around every lake and looked at everything that I could possibly see so when I go back I, if I get on something I'll know where a bunch of stuff is just like that. I see on, on your jersey you're wearing a um, logo for Pro Patterns, and a lot of guys are not familiar with that. I've, I've looked at it online and seen it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? It's an, it's an online fishing resource. It's what you do is, is like I log five, fi five patterns from each tournament that I fish, and then say you go to Smith Mountain Lake, and, and you're, it's the first time you've ever been there. You can type in the conditions for Smith Mountain Lake, and it will tell you what is the most probable thing you're going to go out there and catch fish on right away. Uh, it saves a lot of time, and, and you can even have your own personal log where you just keep your own information that isn't public. It, it's your information, so if you wanted to keep a log you know, on Smith Mountain Lake so you remember, hey, 10 years ago when we had these conditions, this water temperature, I went out there and really caught them, it'll tell you that right away. So basically it's just yet another tool that's available for the modern day bass fishermen, especially the tournament guy. Yeah, it just makes things simpler. And they came out with the payday program where if you're a member and you win a tournament with over 35 or 50 boats and you're a member, you put in a log, you get paid to do that. That sounds good. And another thing I want to ask you about a little bit is um, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you fish PAA, correct? Yes, I do. And we'll talk a little bit about that because that, that seems to be something that's really for you know, um, a, a different variety of bass fishermen, say the guy that didn't qualify for the Elite Series or the FLW Tour. It's When you qualify for the Elites, you have to go all in. That is your full-time job. The PAA this year is having three tournaments, so the, the working guy that loves to fish at a high competitive level can still get in there and fish a, a big money tournament. And, you know, it's an organization owned by me, a member. And that's when you, when it's owned by the people using it, it always seems to work out best. Yeah, and you know it's still growing, and as long as it continues to grow, it, it'll be a big factor in bass fishing. I uh, got you. Now you've got a chance. You know you've been here. If you, if you went through the store here today, and they cornered you um, and said, you know, buy one lure here, Jamie, today that that that'll help you consistently through this season, what would it be? Hmm. The season changes so much as you go. Uh, Probably all around, I'd probably have to say a half ounce or three quarter ounce B&M football jig. What color? I'm kind of partial to Candy Craw. 
There you have it, folks. Uh, taking a few minutes here to talk to Jamie Fralick at Pro's Choice Sport Goods Store here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Get on by and check them out. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.